Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and right now Microsoft's developer conference MS Build is currently going on, and there was a change that affects something that I find profoundly useful in my day-to-day -day life, and that's IntelliSense. Microsoft had just released something called IntelliCode, and IntelliCode is essentially a refinement for the IntelliSense system. Now, if you don't already know what IntelliSense is, it's basically that pop-up you get when you're writing code that predicts what other code you might want to write next. And if you're anything like me, you probably can't code without this feature anymore. It's just one of those things like, like I can't believe we functioned without this in the past. And it gives you the ability to, you know, use large comprehensive libraries without having to constantly look up all the methods and properties, etc., that are available to you because they're just shown to you. Now, one of those things about IntelliSense, though, it was, it was never brilliant. Uh, so, for example, I just added this library, terminal.gui. Now, if I want to go ahead and use it, what I normally would have to do is scroll through all of the T's to get down to it. So, all of the, if I had a variable named temp, I would have to scroll by that, etc. But it now knows, since I added it right here, if I type T, it's going to go there, and then immediately jump into it. And then at the same time, as I'm going through it, it's going to just keep jumping through to the most, like, why is it starting at rect? Well, that is from my own coding habits. So I've typed rect the most often, so it's going to jump straight to it. So instead of going to A and then, you know, just filtering off the letter you're using, it is now going to learn from your coding ability and jump and give you the appropriate suggestions. On top of that, they've actually mixed in a little bit of AI in this, and they've gone through over a thousand GitHub repositories, the ones with a thousand plus likes attached to them, and they've been using machine learning on it. So see how other people use it most commonly. So instead of just giving you things in alphabetical order, it's going to give you actually an order of popularity. So for example, let's say I'm using a string. Uh, S equals hello cruel world like this. Now if I want to go ahead and use this string, if I do S dot, well, see how we got all, all these little ones with the uh, star beside them? Those are IntelliCode suggestions based off context. So basically what they've done is they've sampled all of these codes that have been used in the past, and they're giving you based off of probability. So length is the most used, replace is the next, split is the next, trim is the next. And so those come to the forefront of the IntelliSense suggestions. Now, this seems like a very small thing, but it could actually be huge over time, a massive time saver. And the, the small period of time that I've been using it, I've already noticed that it's right a lot. And as I saw earlier with that rect example, it actually learned from my own coding and was giving me suggestions based off of what I did. And that's actually only scratching the surface of what it's going to be doing. Uh, this is the Visual Studio blog. I will link this down below. It's an interesting read. It goes into a little bit more of what IntelliCode can do. And I mostly demonstrated what we're dealing with now, but you can see things. Here's like a string example that we just saw where it's gonna give you the most common recommendations. But the part that's also cool is you can do stuff like this. So here you can see a line of code that they're doing. And here you're calling, making a new rect and passing in, you know, the common parameters x1, y1, x2, minus x1, y2, minus x1. Very common, uh, you know, just a typo. You're probably doing this wrong. And this type of code is so common that it's found it in all of these GitHub repositories. So it's actually able to notice it and give you a suggestion that you've probably screwed this up. So in some way, they're throwing AI logic behind code analysis. Uh, right now, again, for the most common GitHub open source projects, but over time, this could learn a whole lot and basically start giving you code-based AI suggestions as you go. Uh, some pretty freaky stuff. Now, I'm not sure where the privacy parts come into it. I haven't gotten into any of that. And the details aren't immediate, immediately obvious. But the idea of um, actually you know, having AI assisting with code could be a pretty powerful thing. But again, even if it's just an improved IntelliSense, that's huge to me. I love IntelliSense. It's an essential tool to me. So that's why I'm so excited by IntelliCode. Um, now, if you're interested in checking out IntelliCode, if you see here, they're asking you to sign up, blah, 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 blah. Don't bother. Just head on over to this and I will throw this link down below. It's on the marketplacevisualstudio.com and you can just go ahead and download it. Now, there was another cool announcement that I never got my hands on, so I can't do a video about it, but they're also at MS Build announcing an extension for Visual Studio so you can share code or share the development of code. So basically you can do like pairs programming but on a single machine. So you'll be able to set it up and say, hey uh, Jim, check out my code. Jim can log in remotely and you guys can work on and edit the same document 
live real time. Uh, I don't think that's something I will ever actually end up using except for maybe as a mentoring process, process maybe, uh, but it will be interesting to see how that one comes about. That is not in public release yet, unlike IntelliCode, which as you can see, you can go ahead and download now. It's obviously quite early. Um, there could be some bugs. Obviously, there's going to be new features being added. They're going to be updating it periodically. And if you want the update news, go ahead and sign up to learn about that. Now, one of the big caveats that you're going to run into, and I ran into this immediately when I did it, and if I go and look at the comments in this document, I think, or one of the documents, all of the comments were the same basic thing. You need to have your newest version of Visual Studio. Uh, so if you're using Visual Studio 2017, uh, go in, check for updates. Uh, I did so, and I am now at version, uh, where am I at? Maybe that one, 15.7. Uh, so you've gotta be at 15.7 or later, or you are SOL. So the installer will fail. It will give you absolutely no details why it failed. So if you do go ahead and download this extension and you have problems installing it, uh, make sure you run the updater, make sure you're running the newest version of Visual Studio. Uh, but it's a cool new feature. So, you know, it's a small little thing, but it, the quality of life improvements of this one are staggering in my world. So if you are a Visual Studio developer, this is definitely one that's of interest to you. I I suppose I'll throw it the final caveat. I should have probably put this one up right up front. Unfortunately, this is only for C Sharp products for now. Um, C Sharp is the starting testing language. I believe they intend to bring this to you know uh, C++, F Sharp, etc. Unfortunately, right now it's only working on C Sharp. Sorry. Yeah, I guess I should have started with that. So if you're a C++ developer and I just strung you along to this point, yeah, I apologize. I did not intend to do that. All right. So that was uh, Visual Studio and Telecode. Hope you found that interesting. If you did, go ahead. Go and download it. Like I said, I will throw those links down below. All right. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.